Hey eBay friends, it's Suzanne A. Wells. Thank you for coming back for another episode. And today I want to talk specifically to baby boomers, uh, pre-retirees, retirees, and seniors who are either dabbling in eBay or want to get something set up to supplement your retirement. Um, simply because I don't see a lot of information for you out on YouTube about how to do this and I've been working with clients since 2009 and noticed early on that a large percentage of them are baby boomers who are trying to get something set up so they can move into retirement and have this additional income stream ready or maybe you're already there and you just want to get into it um, but you definitely have a lot of advantages that other age groups don't have um, as far as your experience and your knowledge and your station in life. So I'm going to help you understand how you can build a flexible business you love, get rid of your stuff that you don't want, make money when you want, and have fun doing it. So let's get into it. So if you're planning to retire soon or have already retired, eBay is one of the best ways to have an interesting, income producing home business and declutter and downsize at the same time. This is definitely a time when your age and station in life is going to work in your favor. Aside from the great senior citizen discounts, which <laughs> I am now getting. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, I'm Gen X, but some some places offer a senior discount if you're 50. So, uh, you know, I, I always consider like a senior citizen 65 and above, but, you know, it's getting younger. So that's great. So here's some advantages that you have other over over other generations for starting and maintaining a successful eBay business. Number one, first and foremost, you already have all the stuff, probably decades of stuff. And that is huge because you don't have to worry about how to buy wholesale and how to buy from China and where to go get all this stuff. And if you don't feel well or if it's bad weather, you just don't want to go anywhere, you've got plenty of stuff in your house to start with. So I know some of these pictures are going to be a little shocking, but I've seen it. I've, I've helped people in their homes. I've had them take video and send it to me or pictures and I know this is what a lot of you are dealing with and it can seem overwhelming but if you just start do one box at a time one thing at a time and get this going you will see what a gold mine you have in your house that you just didn't realize because you're gonna learn as you do this what things sell for and then you're gonna think oh I've got some more of that or I wonder if this thing that's kinda like that thing would sell very well and then when you do start going out into the world to estate sales, thrift stores, garage sales, you're going to recognize some of the things that you sold of your own that other people have. So it's a fantastic way to learn without having to spend any money. So maybe your garage looks like this. You've just got a lot of boxes and tubs and you're not even sure what all is in there. And it seems overwhelming. And you don't want to leave this behind for your kids to deal with. Um, you know, you can do this now and make money and enjoy it. Closets are probably full of stuff, uh, maybe even some vintage clothing that would sell well. Um, so you've got that and you maybe you have an attic or a basement that has really old stuff in it. Uh, could be falling apart. That's okay. Uh, you know, if you've got an old leather bag or briefcase and it's kind of disintegrating, but the buckles on it or the hardware is good, you can sell that stuff. So there's just all kinds of valuable things hiding in your home that you just don't know about. Uh, you've probably got something like this going on in your kitchen where you just uh, <laughs> keep putting more and more stuff in there and you don't even know what's pushed all the way to the back because really who cleans, who takes everything out of their kitchen cabinets unless you're moving or getting new cabinets um, and sees what's in there. It just keeps getting pushed back and more stuff gets added. So I guarantee 
a large majority of you listening have something like this with things you can sell, like pots and pans, you can sell just the lids. If you have pots that don't and lids that don't match up, doesn't matter. You can sell all that stuff separately. Now, junk drawer lots are also great and very profitable. So if you have all these little doodads, things that you know, like, I don't want to list all this stuff individually. It'll take forever. You don't have to. So if you're listening on the podcast, um, what I'm showing here are some junk drawer lots. And this one has a watch, some nail clippers, an old spoon, looks like some military pins, a watch band, watch batteries, a uh, empty bottle of, uh, like, perfume bottle, an old... Um, Looks like ice scraper or something. Keychains. Here's a different lot that has uh, old cell phones, sunglasses, and yes, you can sell prescription sunglasses or prescription glasses on eBay. And even if you don't know what the prescription is, which most people don't, um, check out, and I'll put a link at the top, um, Dorky Thrifters, she does a lot with uh, how to sell eyeglasses. And um, you can watch her her videos. She does is doing a whole series right now. So she can tell you all about how to do that. I don't know. I haven't done that yet. But that's definitely a niche because people want the frames. So don't throw those away. Um, this lot also has some cassette tapes, coins, watches, watch bands, Looks like some kind of little video game or fish finder or something electronic. Uh, some matchbox cars, remote controls. And here's another uh, junk drawer lot that has pocket knives, um, lighters, Zippo lighters. Looks like a pewter cup, some lanyards, uh, uh, tins of fish hooks, dominoes game. Um, keychains looks like some kind of funky um, fake gag like thousand dollar bill thing a little candle holder just all kinds of stuff so the point here is that uh, you can just lot all this stuff together and either put it on auction or just put a price on it with best offer and off it goes and some of these lots can sell for two or three hundred dollars so if you've got nice things like uh, Zippo lighters uh, pieces of jewelry, older coins, um, interesting stuff. And what some people do that don't have access to a lot of inventory is they will buy these junk lots and then they will take some pieces to the We Buy Gold places or, you know, uh, list each thing individually. They're doing something with it. So there is definitely a market for these junk drawer lots and it helps you unload your stuff faster you'll make your money the next person gets it it's going to do whatever they're going to do with it um, because if you're going through your home that has decades worth of stuff in it if you list all this kind of stuff individually you're going to be there forever so uh, when you're downsizing a good idea is to lot things together now that being said you don't have to buy anything to resell for a while and that is a huge plus when you're getting into eBay because one of the first questions is, what do I sell? Well, you just start figuring it out with what you've got in your house. You can start looking things up on um, eBay on the sold listings. I'll put a link to my video about how to uh, find prices on things you want to sell if you're just starting out. And you just go around your house with your phone and just start looking things up and see what they sell for. So key point number one is you already have a ready-made inventory of great things to sell, whether you know it or believe it, you do. Okay, number two, and this is an important point because I'm a, I'm a Gen Xer and this has happened to me already, but your kids more than likely don't want your stuff. Um, here's a cartoon where this was on the internet somewhere and it's showing a older a senior citizen with a walker and his probably 60 year old son are standing there looking at a storage 
facility, a storage unit, and it's just crammed full with everything all the way to the top. And the older man is saying, one day, son, this will all be yours. And you just realize the son is like, um, yeah, I don't want any of this. So that's happened to me with my parents. You know, they want me to have all this stuff that I just don't have any interest in. Um, you know, they are emotionally and sentimentally connected to this stuff, but I'm not. So, okay, if they give it to me, then I'm going to have to do something with it. You know, my kids aren't going to want it because they're just not. Um, for the most part, I'm not talking about, you know, real memorabilia like from the war or, um, you know, family heirloom stuff. I'm just talking about all the junk. Um so it's kind of like the buck stops here with the baby boomers because if you take on all your parents stuff that you're going to have all this stuff to deal with and then are you going to pass it on to your kids and they're not going to want it so you can kind of get that cycle stopped and i know a lot of the baby boomers parents were brought up you know through the depression or their parents were brought up through the depression and so the older generations ahead of us have this mindset of you don't throw anything away and I can totally understand that because some of these people had to live with nothing and they lost everything and they didn't even couldn't even get food and we can't even fathom that in our society today but that's where this accumulation I think is coming from because the older generations um, like my parents are in what's called the silent generation that's the one ahead of baby boomers they were born um, you know right uh, right before World, World War II so their parents came up through the depression and had this mindset of holding on to everything because we might you never know what you might need later because you might have nothing so we don't need that mindset today everything is so accessible and available that gen xers and our kids um you know anything can be replaced pretty quickly like within 20 miles or within 20 minutes you know we don't need all this stuff so that being said um baby boomers your kids aren't being disrespectful they just don't want or need this stuff and they're not emotionally connected to it like you are so you can find people on eBay who do want it and you can happily rehome it to somebody who will appreciate it and wants it and collects it or has interest in it and you can make money doing all of this at the same time. So point number three, your life is changing so you don't need this stuff anymore. So you're retiring or maybe you're uh, semi-retired now, uh, willing to bet that your wardrobe has changed drastically. You just, if you've left a corporate job or an office job or um, even a medical job, you've got a lot of clothes that you're not going to be wearing anymore. And those sell great on eBay. If you, um, <laughs> one thing I hear is like, I don't have to go to work anymore so I don't need as much makeup because like you don't need to do that whole routine every single day and so you may have drawers and drawers full of makeup um, that you're just not going to use and you can lot that stuff up and sell it. Obviously um, makeup needs to be unopened but things like perfume um, can have already been opened because there's no like sanitary issues there. Um, footwear. Women, you probably I know when I left the bank, uh, when I had my babies, um, <laughs> I was so glad I didn't have to wear dress shoes anymore. It was just such a freedom to not even have to wear them. So if you're leaving a job that required you to dress up, you're, you're going to have a bunch of shoes you, you probably don't need anymore. Um, you know, save a couple of pairs for fancy events, but for the most part, you can get rid of those. And same thing for the men. Um, a lot of men are clothes horses, and they... Um, you know they have all these clothes that they don't need anymore in their retirement and I was actually dating a guy one time that was just a total clothes horse I mean he he was like six foot two 
250 ish and he just loved buying clothes and hats and boots and um, so one day I was at his house and he's putting his clothes away and his the closet rod broke because he had so many clothes in his closet the whole thing just collapsed so doesn't have to be that way you can sell it on eBay and men's shoes if they're in good condition are great sellers because men typically wear out their shoes till there's like holes in the bottom and um, so if you have your husband has um, shoes that are still in good condition that he's not going to wear in his retirement those are good sellers and then we get into jewelry ladies if you wore a lot of jewelry for your job um, you know you may not need that much anymore and that is a great seller on eBay um, lots of good videos on YouTube about how to identify things if you don't know um, but jewelry is great because it doesn't take up much room it's easy to ship and it's high profit so your life is changing and you will be able to get rid of some of these things and rehome them now number four and most importantly I think is that you know all about the stuff meaning you know what decade things are from and what was going on in the world when that thing was popular so this makes your research time faster and you can add some interesting history to your listings because you know about these things so let's just take a little trip down memory lane here um, I've got a picture of the Christmas 1966 Sears catalog um, so you remember and probably ordered from Sears and JCPenney catalogs and yes you can sell those on eBay and they are collectors items and you remember bank promotional items this is a little ice scraper from Washington Mutual but um, I remember my parents would come home with like the rubber jar lid opener thing with the bank name on it or ice trays were a big thing or um, you know ice scrapers all these little pens all these doodads from the bank and then there was also gas station promotional items they would do the coffee cups and the keychains and the ice scrapers and the tire gauge checker things and all of that so you remember that um, you know what green stamps were and some of you may have the things that your mom redeem them for. I remember going to the little store with my mom. Uh, there was four of us kids and like she would collect these green stamps uh, from the grocery store and we'd put them all in the little books and then we'd go and I think we got a blender one time and a vacuum cleaner one time and you know, all these different things that you can redeem these for. But you can sell the stamps and the booklets on eBay. Um, they're collector's items. So if you've got these packed away somewhere uh, pull those out um, instead of the Today Show Good Morning America CNN Fox those morning programs you woke up to these guys every morning and here we're looking at uh, <laughs> Captain Kangaroo and Mr. Green Jeans so if you don't remember this um, <laughs> you're probably pretty young um, you know what this thing is it's um, we had this exact one in our kitchen under the telephone the yellow telephone and this is a an older uh, like Rolodex metal phone book where you'd slide the little guide on the right hand side to the letter of the person's last name and then you'd push the button at the bottom it would pop open and um, because there was no such thing as speed dial or memory or any of that you had to actually know people's phone numbers and if you had a rotary phone you always hated it like if the person had a bunch of zeros in their number because you had to wait for the dial to go all the way back around again so <laughs> yeah oh the perils of growing up in the 60s and 70s um, you probably had some of this in your kitchen in the 60s 70s or 80s and this is the club aluminum cookware it came in many different colors uh, we had it was like a teal color but it came in green orange red pink this is the yellow um, everybody had this kind of stuff and incidentally this aluminum cookware has actually been linked to Alzheimer's something about the aluminum was you know when you cooked in this it got into the food and that 
could be uh, something that affects you know onset of Alzheimer's so you can do all that research if you're interested but I have read that um, and you know what this book is and who these people are <laughs> um, this is the TV guide this used to come in the mail every week and you could look up what was going to be on you could read little stories about your favorite TV personalities um, this was you know no internet this is what you would look at every week to see what was on, what movies were going to be on, on like the, you know, Friday night movie of the week, um, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, who was going to be on the Mike Douglas show. I used to read the TV guide when it came because it was like, oh, what's coming up? So these are collectible and they, you can sell those on eBay. So if you've got any of these boxed up somewhere, um, and then you probably had one of these in your kitchen at one time. This is a coffee percolator. Um, this is how we used to have to make coffee before the, like, Mr. Coffee drip machines. And I remember ours had, it was silver and it had a clear knob thing at the top. And so, like, in the morning when I was dead asleep, you know, trying to wake up for school, I would sit there eating my breakfast, just kind of watching the coffee pop up into the clear part at the top it was kind of mesmerizing and it made a funny noise and anyway so you know what all these things are so when you walk into a thrift store or go to an estate sale you don't have to like wonder what is that thing you already know so while you may not know what Instagram is for or how to do a zillion things on your iPhone you do know the things that will help you sell on eBay. So you have some valuable knowledge even if you don't think you do. Okay, number five, you will have time to deal with the stuff. And let me um, quantify that statement by saying I totally get that retirement is not sitting around doing nothing, but the way you spend your time is going to be different. Um, when my dad retired, I have never seen such a busy person in my entire life. He, you know, he was the uh, what's it call it commander of the American Legion he was on, on all these committees at church he was in the church choir um, you know did all this volunteer work he would go to the men's breakfast things in his uh, neighborhood um, was just always doing something just constantly all the time meetings on the phone and so you know a lot of people are more busy in retirement than they were working but th the way you spend your time is different so you you can work in your eBay business when you want to you know if you want to do it in the morning while you're fresh and your mind is sharp you know because everybody kind of trails off in the afternoon uh, <laughs> I'm at my best in the morning um, you can arrange your day around it is what I'm trying to say here so you have the flexibility of doing that um, and number six you can use the money from this stuff. That's the best part because maybe you want to travel. Maybe you want to take up some hobbies you haven't done before. Um, maybe you just want to spend time with your your grandkids, your kids, your family, um, friends, you know, whatever you want to do. Maybe you want to invest in a second like vacation property um, and you want to have extra money to do that or you know maybe you just don't really want to do anything um, just whatever the heck you want and you want money to be able to spend on that um, so you can definitely use the money that's coming in from your eBay business selling the stuff you already have so the bottom line is eBay is perfect for baby boomers pre-retirees, retirees, senior citizens. Um, this is going to fit into your life very nicely. You can do this and I can help you. So what I'm offering here is um, if you book a 30-minute phone consultation so we can talk about your eBay business, I'm going to give you something free. Um, so when you go to my website, you'll see this little pop-up box that says Let's Talk, and you can schedule an appointment. Um, I will also put the link to that be below the video so you can go on and schedule your appointment. And the cost for that uh, consultation is $50. And I guarantee you that you will get so much useful information out of this conversation when we talk about your unique situation. Um, if not, if you're not happy, 
I'll give you your money back, no problem. Um, but as a retiree baby boomer special, I will give you my eBay basics course for free. Um, or if you are already kind of moving along in your business and your past where you need the basics course, any other $39 course that you choose, I'll be glad to um, give you that as the, your freebie. So I will put the link to book your appointment below the video. And um, when you book your appointment, just add a note that you're taking advantage of my retiree baby boomer special and we will work out your free class. Um, I would, I suggest that you wait till after we talk to pick your class because um, I want to make sure I know where you are in your business and we pick what's best for you. So, um, but do not worry, you will absolutely get that with um, no problem at all. If you decide the consultation was not helpful, I'll give you your money back and you can keep that class, no problem at all. So, the time is now. If you are a baby boomer, pre-retiree, already retired senior citizen and you want to get into eBay, let's do it in 2018. Let's get moving on this. You have the stuff in your house. You have hopefully the time to do it. You have the skills to do it. If you're able to get on YouTube and watch this video or get on this podcast and listen to this, you can do eBay. It's, it's not that hard. Millions of people do it. You can do it too and you're going to have fun doing it. So would love any of your questions or comments below the video. You can always contact me at Suzanne at SuzanneAWells.com for questions. And I am here for you. So let's make 2018 a great year. Thanks for watching and have a profitable day on eBay. Bye.